metabolism, um, you, we, we understand, is a very, very complex set of chemical reactions that occur in the body. And if, if, if metabolism is this complicated, we probably understand this much. And I'm sure many of you have had this experience. You have seen, you see people in your own lives that are naturally thin, and they eat everything in sight. And then there are some people that are a little bit on the heavier side, and they don't eat much at all. And you say to yourself, well, why is that happening? Why is that, how can that possibly be? And that is because we have different metabolic rates. Now, one of the things that controls the metabolism in the metabolic rate is the thyroid. So if the thyroid has too little circulating thyroid hormone, that's going to make your metabolism slower. If there's too much thyroid hormone circulating, it can make the met metabolism too fast. And the important thing is that the thyroid has receptors all over the body from head to toe. So if you have too much or too little thyroid hormone, you can feel it from head to toe. So say, for instance, how would you feel it in your gut? Well, if you have too much thyroid hormone, it can make you have diarrhea. But if you have too little thyroid hormone, it can give you constipation. So it's very important to determine how what the thyroid hormone levels are in the blood, and if the, the, the doses, if the dose of the medication needs to be adjusted. So where is your thyroid gland? I'm, I've been talking about this gland for a few minutes now. Well, where is it? Well, the answer is it's in your neck. And you can see for this patient, um, well, for all patients, it's beneath the Adam's apple and in front of the trachea or the windpipe. So what do you think would happen if that gland got too big? Well, it might press on that windpipe and cause the people a problem, right? As you breathe in, you might be able to get enough air in. So if that gland gets too big, it might need to be removed surgically. So what does that mean? Well, what is a big thyroid? A big thyroid is called a goiter. And you can see a picture of a, of a patient with a goiter here. Now, usually we don't see these kinds of large, large goiters so much in this country because usually by that time we would have removed it by, by, by now. But these are patients that have usually live in countries with a severe iodine deficiency. And they can't make thyroid hormone from their thyroid gland. So what, do, what happens? Well, blood tests go off, and that causes hypertrophy, or get the gland getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And this can cause compression of the airway. So that most likely this person would need their thyroid removed if it was due to uh, just the gland getting bigger and bigger. If the patient just needed iodine, you could maybe give this patient iodine, and the gland would shrink. So the question is, are goiters dangerous? Patients come into my office all the time, and they'll say, doctor, my gland is big. And I'll say, well, and they'll say, well, is it a problem? Does it need to come out? And I say, well, honestly, I don't know. We've got to figure it out. And how would we figure it out? What would we look at? Well, sometimes glands can be big for a reason. Forgive me, I'm sorry. So sometimes glands can be big for a reason. That is, they're inflamed by antibodies. Um, and that could reflect a fast gland or a slow gland. Fast and slow can both be big, even though they're the opposite condition. Fast and slow can both be big. But if you rule that out and you have a big gland, then it's a cosmetic issue. And I tell patients, you know, thyroids are like noses. They come in all shapes and sizes. There's not a why of the matter. It's just they happen to be different shapes and sizes. But sometimes when they do have a deficiency of thyroid hormone or their thyroid glands are too fast, then we have to treat those patients with some medications. So has anyone ever seen a patient like this where they have the really big eyes and a big thyroid gland down here? I'm sure you've seen some pictures, at least some pictures. And these are patients that have what they call Graves' disease. Graves' disease is a fast thyroid. And what, how does Graves' disease happen? Well, you have antibodies called TSI antibodies, and they bind to the thyroid gland cause an inflammatory response, and they stimulate it. And that overstimulation of the thyroid gland results in an excess of thyroid hormone circulating in the blood. And when that happens, patients can get a variety of symptoms that we'll go through in a few moments. So these receptors for these antibodies are also behind the eye. So not only do you get an excess of thyroid hormone in a big thyroid gland, but these, the antibodies bind the receptors behind the eye and push the eyes forward, and you get what they call, what we hear they're labeling it bulging eyes, we call it ophthalmopathy, right? Fancy word to say bulging eyes. This can be controlled and treated, of course, but this is what they call Graves' disease. Now, what does it feel like? How would you know if you had something like this, or at least to ask about it? Well, if you have an excess of thyroid hormone, as I said before, you can have symptoms from head to toe. So what are those? Anxiety, irritability, trouble sleeping, weakness in your extremities, tremors, 
patients come to me, and I, I, make, I always make them put their hands out when they come in with this, and they shake like this. Sometimes I'll ask them, when you write with a pen, does your hand shake? And they'll say yes. Perspiring more than usual. Difficulty with hot weather, right? So they, they go out in the heat and they feel hot, but they feel hotter than the average person. And they, they literally can't stand it. They have to get into air conditioning. That can be a sign of hyperthyroidism. You can also have rapid heartbeats or palpitations. Your heart's beating out of your chest. That can be a sign. Fatigue. Weight loss despite eating or eating or increased appetite. Um, you'll have some patients that present with this condition that they will come in and they will say, Doctor, I keep eating, I keep eating, and I can't gain a pound. I continue to lose weight. That's a sign that thyroid might be too fast. And also frequent bowel movements, the diarrhea. So how do we treat this? Well, luckily, we have three approaches, three options for treatment. We can either give a medicine called methimazole or PTU. These are two medicines that have the capacity to slow the thyroid down, gland down to normal. The second approach is to literally destroy the thyroid gland, give a pill called radioactive iodine, which is done in nuclear medicine. And when we give radioactive iodine, the only part of the body that uses iodine is the thyroid, right? So when you take the radioactive pill, it will go straight to the thyroid, kill it, and then you take Synthroid for the rest of your life, which is thyroid hormone. Or surgery. If you remove the thyroid gland surgically, obviously you've solved the problem. You can have a fast thyroid with no thyroid in the body, right? So you remove the thyroid gland, and then you would take thyroid hormone going forward. Thyroid hormone is essential for life. So if you took out a thyroid gland and you didn't take your medication, well, you might be around for a couple of weeks, but then you would die, right? 